It is Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. We are presented by Manscaped. And for the best in men's grooming products, log on to manscaped.com slash chat for 20% off, plus free shipping when you use the promo code chat at checkout. Let's start off with the first pick of the fifth round for the Seahawks. That was Tariq Wollin, the cornerback from UTSA and our own Tom Downey gives him some pretty good numbers for a guy that went in the fifth round. Number nine corner overall and the number 64th best player in the draft. And he's described by Downey as a big, lengthy cornerback with rare athleticism, former wide receiver that has solid ball skills. The technique needs work at the next level in order to succeed, though. Now, With Wolin, what's interesting is that the Seahawks are doubling up on the cornerback position as they drafted Kobe Bryant, the cornerback from Cincinnati, in the fourth round. Wolin here last year had one interception, 25 tackles, and five pass breakups. He is a native of Fort Worth, Texas. Now I want to hear from you guys. Here's your chance to weigh in. Grade the pick. How did the Seahawks do with this fifth round selection of Tariq Wollin. Tell us in the comments section. You will get an ad break. And while that ad's playing, get those votes in. How you think the Seahawks did with taking Tariq Wollin with the 153rd pick of the draft in the fifth round. Wollin comes from UTSA and was getting talked about a lot. I was personally surprised that he was around actually here in the fifth round for the Seahawks. Here is more from NFL.com's Lance Zerline as he says Wolin's draft grade could require altering the tape to traits ratio with his elite traits garnering a higher percentage of the projection than might normally be the case. Wolin has shown growth over the last two years at cornerback, but he's still raw and needs time. Now, for me, if you're wondering, okay, How does Wolin, who you see the numbers from Tom, has him pretty good when it comes to rankings as an overall player in the cornerback, how does he last this long? For me, I look at it this way, that the uh, teams that passed on him were looking too much into the fact that he played at a small college like UTSA. I think that's where he falls down where if he were at a bigger school, he probably would have taken earlier than he was. Because look at these numbers. These combine numbers, folks, are just insane. A 4 2 6 40 time for Tariq Wallen. That's fast. That's, that's lethal. And maybe they can find a way to use him in the return game with those type of numbers. Uh, pretty incredible stuff from Wallen there with a 42-inch vertical jump as well. And that shuttle time, a 4-3. More on the draft picks from the Seahawks in the fifth round in just a moment. But before we do, got to tell you about my guys at Manscaped. Check this out. This is the Lawn Mower 4.0, and it is designed for groin grooming. So your balls can feel nice and tight, right? And Manscaped, they are giving quite the offer right now. All these men grooming products, the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, the body wash, all these deals that come in this package, it's one that you will not want to pass on. And it's 20% off plus free shipping. When you go to manscaped.com slash chat, use the promo code chat at checkout, and you will not want to miss it. This is some great stuff from Manscaped. They're the best in the business in men's grooming products, and you will not be disappointed. I can guarantee you that. Manscaped.com forward slash chat. To Rick Wallen, the selection for the Seahawks at number 153, but he wasn't the only pick for the Seahawks in round number five. We'll tell you about Tariq Smith in just a moment, but before we do, we want to make sure that you are subscribed to Seahawks today, and we are getting very close to 26,000 subscribers. Right now, 25,870 of you are subscribed to the channel We want to get to 26,000 subscribers before the end of the draft. So make sure to subscribe by going to YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. Hit the red sub button and make sure that you are getting all the latest Seahawks daily video content. 
and make sure that the notifications are on so you can get those videos as they come out each and every day here on Seahawks Today. Tariq Smith, an edge rusher from Ohio State. And Smith had 26 tackles, three sacks, and one forced fumble. Uh, Smith comes in at 6'3 and 3'8", 254 pounds as an edge rusher and played linebacker at Ohio State as well. Here's more from Downey on Tariq Smith. He has him ranked as his 22nd edge rusher and 156th player overall. Elite agility, can bend and dip around the edge. Doesn't know how to use his hands yet. The production wasn't there as he struggled to finish plays. Lance Sirline, here's what he had to say on Tyreek Smith. Elastic, long-limbed edge defender whose unbridled attacking style brings both highs and lows in every game. Smith's urgent motor is an ingredient that helps him find a chance at some success in the pros, but his inefficiencies and lack of body control limit his ceiling. Here is the statistics on Smith. We mentioned the 26 tackles that he had and just three sacks, one forced fumble, and two passes defended. Although that he went to a big school at Ohio State and was a part of the team that won a lot of games at the Ohio State, you didn't really see the production. This is a potential grab here with the Seahawks of what they're doing here in the fifth round. With these late round draft picks, you're trying to see, you know, what what guys were kind of maybe didn't have the production in college, but you hope turn into something that based on their size and body set, the Seahawks here, they see something I think that maybe the statistics quite don't show when it comes to Tyreek Smith. And they're doubling up on that edge rusher position as they used an earlier pick in day two on Boy Mafe at the edge rusher position. And here is the draft picks for the Seahawks as it has been the theme of the draft for Seattle, doubling up position-wise. Charles Cross was the number nine pick. He'll be your starting left tackle when the season starts in September. Well, Boyd Maffe, the edge rusher out of Minnesota, was the second-round pick at number 40. He'll be an instant starter as well. Kenneth Walker the third, at running back from Michigan State at number 41. Although that the Seahawks have Carson and Penny, this was – a situation where Walker was arguably the best player on the board at that point. They didn't want to pass on him there. Abraham Locus goes third round at number 72, and he'll be somebody that will be competing for the starting right tackle spot. Meanwhile, in the pick so far today, Kobe Bryant at cornerback, a guy that slipped under the radar, was a very good corner at Cincinnati, the Jim Thorpe Award winner. He'll be competing for playing time right away at that cornerback spot while Tariq Wollin and Tyreek Smith are picked in the fifth round. Uh, Some flyer picks for the Seahawks there late in the draft. So just a couple of more selections to go for the Seahawks in the draft as they pick uh, later on. Who do you guys think they should take with these final selections? Here's your chance to weigh in. In the comments section, who you think the Seahawks should bring to Seattle with their final picks in the 2022 NFL Draft.